We've got a lot of pretty complicated objects here in this world. And 60 frames, 60 frames, pretty rock solid within all this near field activity. All right, that, that had to be calculated a little bit, but I could never get this close in the past while I was driving around on vehicles without severe frame rate penalties. Oh, I just dropped that car on top of Umwell's head. Sorry about that, Umwell, but man. And I'm talking like I'm recording, because I'm recording. All right, welcome to the lab, all my lab viewers, duckies, YouTubes, geniuses, etc. Uh, we are in the test beta now. This is test number five, and I've decided to do a update for you guys on how it works and the things that we were checking out with this um, vehicle here. We were testing how a bunch of random objects are handled as we're driving around. My friends are loading it up. I'm with Mini and Fire Mouse. Go ahead and load that up there. I think that's Mini back there trying to knock some crates in. And while they're filling this truck up with some loose objects, uh, we were testing some of the other traditional features of Scrap Mechanic. Here we have a quad um, raw unit and seems to work as intended. Once you turn it on, it ultra stabilizes. So that's good. It's good to see raw units are working in the um, test branch. We also were able to put together a classical ultra stabilizer of the Brett batch variety, Brent batch variety. They seem to wiggle a little more here in the test beta, but they still hold everything up pretty solid. So how strong they are, if that's changed or not, I'll leave that up to the more, um, I guess, the more granular testing some other YouTubers do. Um, just more into if it works it works if it don't it don't so I'm glad to see that it works as soon as we get this truck loaded up um, we're going to test some of this multiplayer aspect and see how just a truck full of junk is gonna get handled by by um, by this server and multiplayer uh, once again special thanks to my two friends mini and fire mouse we're gonna help me do some of these tests. Um, glitch welding, it's doable. It just crashes your world. So I don't recommend you doing any glitch welding in the test beta. Oh, one more important note. Um, I was having trouble even getting the test beta to start. So was Mini. But when we turned down all of our graphic settings and turned off particles, then we were able to um, get the uh, test beta to start. So if you're not even able to get the test beta to launch that test branch for Scrap Mechanic, go ahead and turn down all your graphical settings and then give it a shot and we should be okay. All right guys, let's have somebody hop in the back and um, someone can ride with me and we're just going to go see how a box full of junk is handled by the game. I'm still managing around. Everybody lost a couple boxes and a friend, but um, I'm really impressed with how the new compression is working in the game. We could have a lot of stuff, including a uh, floppy in the back there. And um, as far as multiplayer is concerned, this is fantastic. 
I really like seeing... Oh, let's do some bumper cars, let's do some crashing. I mean, let's really... I just had a truck full of objects just fly over that other truck. Let's crash into it. Oh, he had it on a lift. Let's do some bumper cars. Normally in our, um... In our community events, we have to make very tiny vehicles. But here... We're crashing two semi-complicated objects. They're not extremely complicated, but they're complicated enough, I think, to give us a good idea of what we might be able to get away with. Here, I feel no frame rate penalties at all for crashing into vehicles, flying over them, getting very close to them. You guys know what that's like, right? Driving two pretty big vehicles near each other, how it used to be. Yeah, it used to be it used to be penalized in your frames considerably. But now we could just have big mega complicated vehicle bumper car action. So I'm very excited for us to be able to start building stuff in this new engine. Uh, yes, you're gonna have to build from scratch. There is no there is no workshop option in this engine yet. Yeah, we want blueprints. I know we do. But you know what for now? We're going to rough it, uh, survival mode. So, let me see if I went over all my notes. Yes, absolutely no glitch welding. If you can't even get the test beta to start, turn down all your graphic settings. I mean, to off, and, um, I mean like this. This is what I'm talking about here. This is what I had to do to get to work. Let me show you. I keep on forgetting. Options. I'm just reiterating this again because it's so important. Texture quality, low. Everything off, 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 and low. And off if you can. And if you still can't get the test beta to start, then you're just going to have to wait on another update. But, I think that's it for now. Like I said, this is just an update on the channel. Update of where we are now, test beta number 5. And I think I just got pranked. Someone put my wheels in reverse or something? What's going on here? That's forward, that's forward. Am I stuck? Yes, someone put my side wheels in reverse. Mr. Pranker pranked me. Alright, keep dreaming. Keep building, guys. Super cool, super fun. Um, I want to see more people in the test beta because even though it doesn't have everything, it's being designed, honestly, from the bottom up with multiplayer in mind and everything we do in the lab is all about multiplayer whoa and um let me get back in here come on guys Just, it's crazy <laughs> all right <laughs> adios amigos How better it just runs. Can you can you really tell though? I can tell. There, it's different. If you guys build more complicated cars and we crash them into each other, it's just not it's not like it was before. This really is going to get a lot better, and I'm really excited. I think the inside of really big buildings are going to work a lot better. I think the penalties that we were getting just for walking into really big places, I think that's going to go away. I really do. And, um, how exciting is that? How super awesome is that?